In this video, I'm gonna show you how to customize your Windows 11 taskbar. So let's get started. <laughs> be showing you a few softwares which we're going to be using in order to customize our windows 11 taskbar first step go ahead and click on the link in the description that will open up this github page right here that is rounded tb now over here just scroll all the way to the bottom until we find this link right here go ahead and click on rounded tb.zip once it's done downloading open up file explorer and then open up the downloads folder now here as you can see we have the zip file right here just right click on it now over here, if it's not showing WinRAR for you, make sure you uninstall the current version of WinRAR you've got on your computer and install the latest one of WinRAR's website because WinRAR has announced a new version of WinRAR which supports the new Windows 11 context menu. Over here, hover over WinRAR and click on Extract 2. And then open up the extracted folder over here. Oh now over here, just scroll all the way to the bottom until you find the rounded TP application. Just go ahead and double click on it and just minimize the window. Then click on the system tray icon over here, right click on the rounded TB icon and click on show RTB. Once this window is opened up, go ahead and click on advanced and check the box that says dynamic mode and then click on apply. And over here, check the box that says show system tray and then check the box that says show system tray on hover. And if you click on apply, here as you can see, our system tray has disappeared but when you hover your cursor over the area, here as you can see our system tray just pops up which is pretty cool let me just adjust the corner radius over here and i think that looks perfect now go ahead and click on the second link in the description that is translucent tb over here go ahead and click on the app installer link right here open up file explorer once again and then open up the downloads folder now here as you can see we have the translucent tb app installer file just double click on it oh here go ahead and check the box and click on install now here as you can see my taskbar has turned transparent and over here go ahead and click on continue and then go ahead and click on the arrow over here right click on the translucent tb icon now here as you can see we have a bunch of different settings which we can adjust for example we can change the desktop taskbar color you can set it to opaque which will make it dark like this and this time let me choose acrylic as you can see it has this blurry effect right here if i place my window here as you can see it's perfectly acrylic which kind of looks pretty cool. We also have the option to set it to clear, which means that it's completely transparent and nothing is below it, which also looks pretty cool. You can play around with all of these settings and just adjust it to your needs. Now, go ahead and click on the third link in the description that is Task by Groups. Now, once you've opened it up, scroll down all the way to the bottom until you find Download and Release Notes. Go ahead and click on that. Now, scroll all the way to the bottom until you find this link that says taskbargroups.zip. Go ahead and click on that. Once the zip has downloaded, open up File Explorer and then open up the Downloads folder. Right click on the zip file. Once again, hover over WinRare and click on Extract 2. Open up the extracted folder. Open up the folder within and go ahead and click on Taskbar Groups. Now, once this window is opened up, go ahead and click on Add Taskbar to Group. And over here, under name the group just type in any kind of name you like and then over here you have the option to change the group icon let me just click on the plus icon over here and let me just open up the desktop folder now over here i already have this icon file right here that is an icon of a skull which is kind of weird because the name of the group is microsoft apps but it doesn't really matter because i just want to show you guys how it works let me just select it let me just click on open and over here you have the option to select dark color light color or custom color let me just set it to dark color and then once you're done with that go ahead and click on the plus icon over here go to the desktop and choose any shortcut you like any shortcut of any application let me first select camera click on open once again let me click on the plus icon once you've selected any amount of application you like set the group icon the name and the color go ahead and click on save now back on the downloads folder open up taskbar groups and then click on taskbar groups once again click on shortcuts now here as you can see we have my microsoft application shortcut right here just right click on it click on show more options and then click on pin to taskbar over here as you can see we have the shortcut icon over here this called icon now if i hover my cursor over here as you can see it's microsoft applications now if i click on that we have this neat looking box right here with all four of these applications that I added over here. Now if I click on the paint icon, 
So as you can see, Microsoft Paint has opened up. Now I'm going to click on the second last link in the description. That is this page right here that is Track and Drop Toolbar for Windows 11. Now over here, go ahead and click on Go to Store App and then click on Open Microsoft Store. Now here, as you can see, we have this purple line on the top right here, just like the iPhone notch. Now over here, as you can see, you have the image right here. Now normally, if I wanted to drag it and drop it onto Google Chrome, just like in Windows 10, you just drag it and then drop it onto your taskbar and then automatically Google Chrome will open up and you can just drop it in. But Windows 11, the feature has been disabled and you can no longer drag and drop any kind of file onto any running application, which is where this application comes into play. So now all you gotta do is just drag any image or application on your desktop all the way to the top where the notch is. Here, as you can see, we have this white rectangle right here, which is showing all of my running applications. Google Chrome is right now running on my computer, which is why this icon is showing up. So now all I gotta do is drag the image on top of the Google Chrome icon. And immediately, Google Chrome has opened up. And now I can just drag the image and drop it onto Google Chrome. Now here, as you can see, it has opened up right here. The same applies to any application running on your computer. For example, let me open up Microsoft Paint. And now let me just drag this call icon to the top once again. Now here as you can see I have the Microsoft Paint icon right here. Let me just drag it towards the Paint icon. And now Microsoft Paint has opened up. And over here I can just directly drop the image. And now the image has been dropped right here. Now go ahead and click on the last link in the description for our last and final software which is Smart Taskbar. Go ahead and click on Get In Store App. And then go ahead and click on Open Microsoft Store. Over here, go ahead and click on Get. Now go ahead and click on Open. Now let me just go ahead and click on the arrow on my taskbar. Here as you can see, you have Smart Taskbar running on my computer. Let me just right click on it. Now here as you can see, we have the option to enable and disable animations in the taskbar. We have the option to enable and disable auto mode and show the taskbar after exit. So now if I open up Google Chrome, here as you can see, my taskbar disappears and it vanishes below to the screen. Whenever you're playing online games, you can just get rid of the taskbar so that you have a better gaming experience. It even works with any application that you're running. The taskbar will just simply disappear. If I open up File Explorer, and if I maximize it, my taskbar disappears once again. You can make it appear as well by just placing your taskbar below. Now as you can see, my taskbar pops up, which is really cool. And yeah guys, that's the end of this video. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give this video a like and share it with a friend. And if you have any questions, you can put them down in the comment section below. And please hit the subscribe button to support me. Till then, see you later. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.